their race, which is not done, but a new chapter is coming in. And it's going to be a big change for them and for us. And they want to share that journey with you this morning for a minute, and then we're going to pray for them. And then I will bless us as we go out on the mission for the week. Thanks, Jim. So there's two topics uh, we want to talk about. The first is uh, Kathy's health. Many of you know that last November of Thanksgiving, she was uh, identified as having multiple myeloma, which is an incurable disease. She has gotten a lot of treatment over this time, multiple bone marrow transplant, stem cell transplant, and now she's in remission. Praise the Lord for that. differences between 
entertainment with the TV systems. They were about a half minute behind me. So I said, don't fade, things will be going well. <laughs> So we ask for a wonderful year. May these be, Lord, some of the greatest years, fruitful years, of serving your purpose ever. So be with them. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Make this a, a sacred season for our church. It's in Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen. Amen. All right, let's stay standing. I'm going to do something. Uh, it's called a benediction. Some of you 
grew up in more traditional churches uh, have this. It's just a fancy word for blessing. It's a priestly blessing that comes from Numbers chapter 6. And I am not your priest. In fact, we are all priests. But picture Jesus, the great high priest, <clears throat> proclaiming these words through me. Bible Church, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. <laughs>